former executive losing his bid to dismiss the Jeffrey Epstein suit. Here's what's going on. A federal judge on Wednesday denied a bid by former JP Morgan Chase executive Jess Staley to dismiss a complaint by the bank that seeks to hold him legally liable for sex trafficking by former JP Morgan customer Jeffrey Epstein. Staley, who had been a main point of contact at the bank for Epstein, last month asked Judge Jed Rakoff to toss out the complaint against him by JP Morgan. Now, the ruling in US District Court in Manhattan came two days before JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon, scheduled to be deposed in lawsuits by the government of the US Virgin Islands and an Epstein accuser against the bank over its relationship with the late predator. Virgin Islands alleges in its suit filed in December that JP Morgan facilitated and financially benefited from the trafficking of young women by Epstein, whose private island in the American territory to be sexually abused by him and others there. Epstein was a client of the bank from 1998 until 2013. In March, as part of his legal response, its legal response to the Virgin Islands lawsuit and the similar one by the Jane Doe accuser, JP Morgan filed a so-called third party complaint against Staley. That action argues if the Virgin Islands proves its allegations, Staley is solely liable to the USVI or liable to JP Morgan Chase for all sums awarded, if any, at trial. Suit also seeks to claw back more than $80 million in compensation Staley received from the bank where he worked for three decades. Staley has denied knowing about Epstein's sex trafficking. He served as CEO of Barclays from 2015 until 2021, when he quit after British financial regulators investigated his ties to Epstein. Epstein died from suicide inside a Manhattan jail August 2019, weeks after being arrested on federal child sex trafficking charges. I don't know how to feel about this one, Jordan, because I don't really see good people, okay? JP Morgan Chase or Staley. I don't necessarily want him to pay if they get hit. I want them both on the hook. So this doesn't give me a lot of joy. What do you think? Yeah, it's it's frustrating because while they look into this, while some progress is made in the court system around Epstein and his network, it does seem like the most powerful and influential people and entities aren't ever on the hook for this kind of stuff. And the right loves to trot out Epstein and the entire scandal as some you know, gotcha for their political enemies. They love, you know, obviously, they love to point to the Clintons for their ties to Epstein. But they always look away when it's people that are ultimately on their side, whether it's Donald Trump, his connections to Epstein, Elon Musk, or you know, big banks. Let's see it. Let's see you go after every single person and entity who was connected to Epstein. Do it. If that's if you care so much about this, I say go for it. Go after the big banks. Go after the big banks who financed this guy and kept his money and ultimately knew what he was doing. Go after Trump, go after Musk, go after the Clintons. I don't care, I have no allegiance to any of these people. If you really wanna root out every single person that was connected to him, start with the banks, start with Trump, start with Musk, go for it. I couldn't agree more. And I don't know why, but I almost choked on the 80, less we expected $80 million over a couple decades. It's just, it's filthy. At this point, it's just become filthy, okay? You are filthy. Rich, and it really sucks because I want everyone to have the American dream. But when there's such disparity, okay, and there's no morals apparently, and no empathy or care for other people in a lot of these cases, it just, it's just reeks, it stinks. And I don't know what to do about it, but it seems to me it must be pretty hard to get a judge to agree that this guy be on the hook for what an entire bank, that entire entity would be looking at. I would think if it were you or I, we wouldn't necessarily get the benefit of a ruling like that. But I could be wrong, Jordan, give you the last word. 
No, you're absolutely right. I mean, even back to the financial crisis, no bank, no CEO got in trouble. It was a couple people, but that was it. And singling out one person at a bank, like he, there's no way it was just on him. That's what's so frustrating about anything involving Wall Street, big banks, big entities in this country. It's never the company as a whole that faces any sort of scrutiny or punishment. It's somebody who's the scapegoat. And that creates a system, a two tier justice system where individual people are hung out to dry. But these massive colossal entities that are funding or involved in deep evils in society never face any punishment. And this type of behavior just continues to perpetuate. We see it time and time again. And I think this is yet another case where nothing's really going to be happening here to JP Morgan Chase. And I think it stinks. And I think there's a lot of funk to go around. 